Morning tree lovers, thanks for looking in on the Eco Geeko channel. It's a lovely day, sun is shining, it's early October and the mist is rising. It's a great day to be looking at the Scots pine, the pine of the woods. Most people do call it Scots pine, some people call it Scotch pine, but I think that's something else altogether. Some people call it the Baltic pine because it's also found in its native range all the way across northern Europe. Some people call it European redwood, but let's call it Scots pine. Now Scots pine is one of three native conifers to the UK along with juniper and yew. And it's also, along with silver birch, one of the oldest pioneer species that established here just after the last ice age. Nothing to do with humans bringing it in. It's quite easy to identify. You should be able, first of all, to have a little look at the trunk. And when you look down low, it should show quite dark uh, and long um, plates or sort of fissures. As you go up the trunk and you look at the younger parts, you'll see that the bark becomes quite a lovely orangey red colour and it peels off in small little round scales. Let me see if I can do that. Pine have needles for leaves and it's likely that these leaves are arranged in a little bundle, a little fascicle or a sheath um, with two or three or five needles and Scots pine has like all conifers, it doesn't have true flowers, but what it does have is two different types of cones, male and female. And the little male ones are quite short-lived back in spring, and they dangle and release quite a lot of pollen, and you can see these still, just hanging out on the end of the branches. But the female little miniature cones uh, come out a little bit red back in springtime, and then begin to swell through green, and over a year and a half or so, turn into the brown, uh, pine cones that we know and they're again about the size of your little finger So Scots pine is one of the most widely uh, planted all around the world even also including in the southern hemisphere So you are likely to find it on your walk. I hope you do and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the Eco Geeko